Hi guys, Tracy here. Um, so I'm sorry if there's not a lot of light today. Um, I kind of had a little accident. Um, a lid, um, you guys have seen like the Instapots, right? So it's really big, it's very heavy and clunky and it has a very heavy lid. It was in the cabinet above my refrigerator and I had, I saw the cord hanging out. So I kind of, I was like, ah, you know, kids. Um, so I opened the cabinet and the lid, it was not screwed on. It was just kind of sitting on top and it literally came flying out at me. So um, it fractured my nose, which you can't see because I did put on, you know, makeup. Um, and so like, if you look really closely, you can tell my eyes really swollen. Um, and so I can't do the lights. So sorry if it's not as bright as it usually is, um, but it's for my health and safety. Uh, but I did not want to miss a, a chance to talk to you guys, uh, bring you some new stuff and some exciting news. I mean, you guys heard, right? Disneyland is supposed to be opening at the end of April. Now, um, it did say there was like a little caveat about how at first it'll just be, you know, California residents. Um, and of course you have to use the reservation system. Uh, so that's, it's still really exciting though. I mean, it's a lot more people who will get to actually go in and enjoy the park. And, um, supposedly, uh, I know that the article was really confusing, but from what I understand from a friend, well, my cousin, um, his friend works there, is that, um, rides will be open. Not all of them at first, obviously. Um, even the inside ones. Just limited capacity and lots of regulations and uh, just they can make sure they're sanitizing everything enough for everyone's uh, personal safety um so but that is it's exciting news i mean i'm really excited uh you know we've all been kind of living in this tense bubble and it'll just be good just to you know the amusement parks are opening up because you all need to just get some of the tension out you know our kids have been trapped in the house it's my kids have been trapped in this house for a year. I have two sons with autism and they have literally gone almost nowhere. I think a couple of times we did take them out to get something to eat. We didn't stay and eat, we just got it to go. And they literally just barely got out of the car. But I mean, it was something because they, they've just been here for you know a year and it's just a lot. It is a lot, um, especially for teenagers with autism. It's just, it's, you know, so much. Um, you know, they kind of backpedal on all the work we did with their socialization skills because they have been isolated for a year. So I know that there are lots of moms like me who are excited for this news that amusement parks and Disneyland are going to open and we're going to get to do things. Um, and we're getting, we're inching a little closer to some sort of normalcy. So, yay! Um, and then of course I have lots of goodies to get through because, um, I have a bunch of bags that just came in, um, some from the February, uh, catalog and I think I'm, no, 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 I'm wrong. It's all from February. Half my shipment is not here yet. Snap. It happens. Um, but then I have some other great stuff that I'm anxious to show you. So let's get moving. Okay. I know I'm being silly just cause I'm so excited. Okay, so let's get started. So first, see yeah, I'm first time getting it out of the plastic. But that's because I had to take care of my customers first. So this is the um, Sanrio Twin Stars Cloud Mini Backpack. And it is so much more beautiful in person. Look at that. So it has one pink and one blue stripe, you know, a boy and a girl. Uh, and then um, the uh, cloud is actually appliqued onto the pocket, the front zipper pocket, which is a really neat idea. I think this is the first time I've really seen it where um, it, it wasn't just amassed the whole pocket, but it actually just was appliqued to it and it kind of creates some dimension. So, oh, and if you feel it, it has a very, um, almost like a micro suede kind of feel. Uh, and then, of course, the little stars are embroidered on there. We have our, our plaque, and of course it says San Rio, and then Lounge Fly on the bottom. Um, and then, again, the, the, the twin stars themselves, they are also applique onto the bag. 
um, and then the rainbow is printed. Uh, it feels, I can't help it, the bag feels so good. Um, and then the stars, again, are embroidered. And then if you look on the side, it does indeed um, have faux pocket C, which was very deceptive because I thought for sure those were real. But it just goes to show that um, the dimension that I'm always talking about, that certain stylistic um, effects have. It, it looked for sure like there was a real pocket there, but of course it's not. It's a faux pocket. Um, and then we have some uh, printing. It says sky, moon, and Milky Way. Uh, and it's very glittery. You can't, you can't really get, get a true, uh, you know, you can see it a little bit if I get up very close. But it is, it's shimmery. And on the other side is the moon. So we, and we have lots of color um, contrast. You know, we have the, the pale teal and then we have the darker teal around the zipper. We have, you know, our metal zipper pulls and hardware. And then of course the light teal again. And on the back, you know, we have, like I said, we have the different color straps. But if you look closer at the fabric part of the straps, it's actually pink, yellow, and blue. So like I said, there's just so much color um, going on in the bag. This has so many style elements. Um, I really love it. I think that it turned out very well. And I think that um, anybody would be lucky to add it to their collection because you know that I am. It's going well, my Hello Kitties. Oh, I still need that Pachaco bag. I'm telling you girls, if you see it, you know I need it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the crossbody. And oh my goodness, when I opened the box, I was like, it's enormous. And if you're a woman like me who has so much stuff that you actually carry the mini backpack. Plus, I won't lie, I have a Toki Doki bag that's, you know, the totes that are really big. And I carry like my huge iPad in there and all my other stuff when, you know, we're going like on trips and stuff because I, I need a lot of space. And um, I just have so much stuff. It's, and you can never decide what you want to bring, so you end up bringing everything. I know I do. So, this is the. Twin Stars crossbody. Well, like I said, it's, it is a beautiful, large crossbody. Lots of color elements here. Because if you look, even on the side, the seams are different colors. Um, it almost looks like a book. Um, and then, of course, again, the straps. You know, pink on the inside. Um, this teal uh, to pale blue on the outside. And then, of course, we do have our, you know, our metal plaque but if you look on the other side you have a beautiful little metal placker with the twin stars themselves so it's 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 a beautiful element that they added i really like it um and then of course the uh, oh i didn't look at the lining of the backpack oh my goodness we'll have to go back so this is the lining it's gorgeous of course it has an extra strap and then it has a lot of pockets i love it so much see there's one pocket here plus there's the middle pocket and then there is your your regular pocket here. So this is three pockets on the inside and it is really big. And look on the bottom, it has the studs to protect the, the purse when you sit it down so that the fabric isn't really touching the ground. And I do, I love that. Um, it's, a, it's a protective measure. It makes it very pretty. And of course we have our magnetic closure here. So this is a very stylish, a very attractive bag. I, I do love it. And let me really quick go back and look at the lining since I, I just, my brain did not, I'm telling you, ever since I got hit in the face, my brain, it does not want to work. So this has almost identical lining to the crossbody. See? It's beautiful. I love it. I love everything about these bags. They are just, they're awesome. So if you're a Sanrio fan, you are going to be happy. I'm telling you. Okay. So then we have the wallet. So I can get it open. Where did my superwoman strength go? Uh, oh, have you guys checked out all the, um, like, so if you are a Disney Plus member uh, and you upgrade to the premiere, you can actually watch the, their new movie, uh, Raya, The Last Dragon. I am anxious to see it. You know, I finally watched Soul and it was so good. It made me cry. Um, and it's funny. 
So here is the wallet. It has the uh, embossing, the applique, there's uh, embroidery, um, and of course this is that material again, and it's shimmery. So, and then on the inside, see, it's super cute, and it all goes so well together. Of course, pocket on the back. Moving on. So next, Next, I have the um, Snow White bag. Um, and I am, I was shocked because it's actually really big. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so large, which is by no means uh, a negative thing at all. So, um, I like the small ones. I like the large ones. I like them in every size. You know, I, I just don't like, uh, I don't like nylon bags because I don't, I don't like nylon. <laughs> And I don't like the straps. So, but these, like I said, it's it's big. It is. And it's beautiful. I, the, they got to stop doing this with the full pockets, though. I need my pockets. I'm a pocket girl. See? Zipper here for a pocket. Um, I, I'm not 100% on, like, this style pocket. But, I mean, it's only because I think I only own two bags. And I have yet to actually wear the bags that have this pocket so I'm gonna give it a whirl I'm not knocking I'm just saying I don't know because I haven't tried um I do prefer pockets that stick out though because I feel like I'm getting more um more room and more space which I desperately need uh, in my bag so um and we have our it's, it's this beautiful tan color with the dark chocolate covered straps um and then let's have a look on the inside and see what the lining looks like Oh, see, I love the lining. I think the lining is probably the best part. Look at that. Super cute. Uh, now, I know that people have, like, knocked her face. And I'll give you a close-up so you can really get a look for yourself. Um, I think it's probably better than the chibi faces. Um, it's more uh, of a cartoon look, which she's a cartoon, so it's more... Um, more what it should be like uh, but I do think that maybe they made her face a little rounder than it is in the movie but um I don't I don't think that's like a you know like a deal breaker I, I know some people feel I know you're like why are you touching your face it's because I have allergies and those are fan on so sorry so like look for yourself and tell me what you think I think it looks great so the bag it has lots of texture elements you know we have the the color differences um, and there is, of course, some uh, debossing on here. And um, the tag is on the side. I know that people don't care for that. Um, I For this bag, I feel like there was plenty of room down here for the tag. Um, is it, Again, is it a deal breaker? No, not at all. Um, I do feel like they could have put something on the back. Um, but I, I think that this is... Uh, definitely cute enough to wear, uh, and I won't lie, I actually have an outfit that I purchased, and I didn't have a bag for it, because it, it is Snow White, but it is more like this brown color, so um, I, I am glad to have something to wear it with. So, so that's the Snow White bag. And now let's look at the wallet! And actually, um, I'm not a wallet person, I, I know I've said that for you guys, but I do... Honestly, they're getting better at the wallets. Now, mind you, the Dumbo is my favorite, and you'll see it soon. So, here it is. Okay. See? Her on the other side. And then on the inside. Um, and, okay, so this I really like. Because um, usually it doesn't open like that. Usually it's, you know, they're like the webbing kind like that. So, I, I do like this. Because I need to be able to get inside. And I do actually still carry a checkbook. So um, it is it's definitely a plus. So um, I, like I said, I'm not usually a wallet person. But I think the scenes on the wallet are really beautiful. And they go so well with the bag. That it would be like one of the exceptions that I made. In my no wallet policy. Moving on. Moving on. I know I'm being weird. So now we have the Dumbo crossbody. Which is awesome because then we can look at the wallet, which is my favorite. Thing. Okay, so it's 
so once you take like all the extra stuff off, you know, the cardboard, you get to this beautiful all over print bag and it is gorgeous. I mean, it looks amazing. Um, and when I think about wearing it with my dress and the backpack, I'm like, holy moly, it's gorgeous. I mean, just the whole set together is just phenomenal. Um, and I love the scallop edge. It's, it's very pretty. Um, I think that it's almost an antique type style, which I think is appropriate for Dumbo because Dumbo um, is, is classic. And I really do like for the classics to have a classy look. So I, I love this. Um, and then of course we have our, our gorgeous handle here. And then if you open it up, oh wait, did you see it? The silver Dumbo? Yeah. Or my bad, I'm sorry, it's a silver tent. See, you can tell my eyes messed up. Silver tent. So you open it up and we do have another strap inside. And this is the best part. Look, this is the best part, okay? I know you're like, uh, whatever. Look, there's a zipper to protect your belongings. Um, Cause like I have the Bugs Life bag um, and it doesn't have this zipper, you know, it only has the, um, the magnetic clamp and I drop my bag and sometimes things fall out that shouldn't. They have solved that problem and I love it. I really love it. It does not make the bag look any less gorgeous. In fact, I think it just, it makes it more amazing because now it's super functional and super fashionable. And then of course, the metal, the magnetic piece, if you will. And then our beautiful tag on the back. So like I said, this is a very classy bag. You know, it has two straps. So, you know, if you don't want to carry it as a handbag, you can carry it as a crossbody. And, and it's elegant and classy and I just love it. I know you're probably asking yourself, where does she keep all this stuff? Well, you see my cubbies, right? I picked up a new one today for the hallway because the bedroom is full. <sighs> okay, I'm breaking out some scissors <laughs> I hurt myself. Um, so you might ask yourself, I wonder how many bags does she have? We are well over 450 now. 450 bags. So here's the Dumbo wallet. I know it's gonna look backwards because it's camera, but oh my God, you gotta feel it. It feels so nice. Um, and of course it's debossed and then it's a flat wallet. So it's like that. So your dollars go here. And look at that beautiful lining, it's gorgeous. Um, and of course it's the same lining that's in the crossbody, it's identical. Uh, and there's lots of room for your credit cards in here and your checkbook. There's a zipper here for your coins, which I always need. So this is definitely a wallet I would use. It is, absolutely. Um, one, because it's not, look at how thin it is, okay? So uh, sometimes the reason I don't do wallets is because they are so, they're big and they're bulky and they're thick. Um, and they're not as functional as, as they say they are. But this baby is gorgeous and sleek and it is just, phenomenal I love it and all the style elements and the colors I love the blue you know I love all these colors and the lettering is very Dumbo it's very classy very classic and of course our metal tag on the back and the backing is pink it just it pulls it all together and I do love the edges look at the edges this is so cute it looks like a ticket you just can't go wrong with it. I got my ticket do you got yours so yeah I love the Dumbo wallet um, love it. I mean, do love it. So now we're going to do the Little Mermaid. So I, I think I've already done the backpack for you guys. So this is just going to be the crossbody and the wall off. If I can get through the plastic. And of course you guys know these are mine. So I'm keeping these. These are not <laughs> the ones for sale at the store. Although we do have many in stock. So feel free to check out our website. And bye, 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 because there's lots of them in stock. This one is for my personal collection, though. So it has this beautiful hardware. Um, I didn't think this was really cute, but it, it's funny because look, it looks like brass knuckles. So just think, right? Okay, just envision this for a moment. That you're out with, you know, your boyfriend or you're with your girlfriends. And 
Um, you're maybe in a shady part of town and some weirdo comes up to you and he's pushing up on you like, oh, really fool? Really fool? You don't know me. Check out my purse. Bam. Bam. You got some brass knuckles right here and it's not illegal because it came on the purse. I know that was so ghetto of me. I'm just saying though. I mean, think about it. Look. Function and fashion, baby. Function and fashion. So this is the um, Ombre Scales uh, Woven Fabric. A uh, little mermaid bag. And I love these colors. I do. I absolutely love these colors. Um, and so our placard on the back. And then on the front it says, The Girl Who Has Everything. Remember the song from Little Mermaid? And then, of course, Magnetic Class. And inside is our secondary strap for the crossbody. Oh, and the lining is so pretty. Look, it's coral and then flounder. See, I really like that. It's very, very nice. You know me, I, I have a thing about liner. It's just it's a thing. So, love it. Love it, love it. Um, and honestly, I, I've, and I've said in previous videos, I'm not like big on the handle, this hardware stuff. There's a few exceptions, and I will say that this one is the exception. Um, and so now I'm on the hunt for a dress to wear with it. So now that we've seen the handbag, we are going to see, I know I have it here. Oh, the wallet. And it's funny because I actually have some ears I'm going to show you too when we're all done with the bag. Um, they're custom ears from, um, God, I'll have to remember when we get to them because my brain doesn't want to work. So this is the Dingle Hopper wallet in the ombre woven scales uh, from the Little Mermaid. Metal tag on the back. And I do think this is a nice touch. Uh, it keeps the whole collection, you know, together. So you lift it. This is funny, look. So you lift and pull. This actually stays on, which is actually cool because I worried that it would pop off, you know? So then you unzip it. And I love this because it's, again, it's added security because, girl, I'm telling you, I'm always losing my stuff. <laughs> I am. I drop stuff all the time. Or I set it down. Terrible, I know. So inside, it has foam that you don't want to keep, obviously. Room for your credit cards, and your ID, and, you know, your, your, your money goes in here. The only thing it does not have is, like, the coin part. Other than that, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, last but not least, we got the Pokemons. So hang tight. You didn't see that, right? You did not see that. My evolution bag just jumped across the counter and smacked me in the face. Woo. These Pokemon bags, they must be hot. You know what it is? Because Shining Fates came out and like, it's like blowing up. Everyone's all about Shining Fates, Shining Fates. I don't play Pokemon don't want to play Pokemon, but my kids love it, you know? I mean, it's cool. I'm going to buy the tins, you know, and the Elite Trainer boxes and stuff. Ugh. But I will say, this is super cute. Um, and it's a good size, too. I mean, it's as big as my head. Um, and I think that I like that Evie is appliqued on here and not just um, printed. And all of her evolutions, they look really cute. And if you look really close, this is actually stitching. So they have added some really lovely style elements to this bag. Um, and then we have our fabulous color wheel for all you artists. Um, and then, like I said, she's appliqued on here. So see, she's sewn on. Um, and then it's two different colors of, um, like, it's more like a, oh, so it looks like pumpkin in the piping. And then caramel for the rest. And then we have gold hardware. And this is cool. Okay, look on the back. You have a pocket and it's like snaps. So if you, okay, so yes, this is Pokemon. So you're not going to have ears for it. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe you do. Maybe you do. If you do, those little, um, there's a lady on Instagram who makes hooks for your ears. This is like the perfect little snap. You just slide the thing in there and it's connected. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. I love it. And, um, plaque. We'll look inside. Of course, our strap will be inside. See? Told you. 
And then the lining. Oh, man. Pokemon fans, you want to like this. Look. That is fabulous. Fabulous. And you'll notice there's also another pocket inside. So see, fashion, function. And if you're a Pokemon person, this is a purse for you. Super cute. And then the wallet. So, and these are the core line bags from February. So, if you haven't had a chance to see them live, you just did. Mm, girl. So, again, I like the shape of this wallet. I like the thinness. There is um, a lot of style and texture elements. There's um, stitching, debossing, embroidery. Uh, and, again, I love the color palette. I do. It's, it's very fall meets spring. And then, again, it's a flat wallet. So, credit cards, credit cards, ID you know, cash or your checkbook. And then of course this one does like the number one have its coin purse. So this is a, a great wallet. I do like this wallet. Just not a Pokemon fan. I mean, you know what I mean. It's not for my collection. So now that we have done the core line bags, I have some exclusives. Okay. So, and it was hard for me to get my hands on it. I had to haggle. I had to haggle, okay? Because I I found out too late about the cocoa all over, okay? I was late to the party. I was late to the party. So I had to haggle, but it's here and it's mine. And I do love it, okay? I love it. So, and I know there's like, you know, there's all the placement people who are like, oh, you don't have... The little boy, you know, Coco, like front and center. I'm like, I'm, I don't care. I don't care. I love the bag. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I've got some good placements here. I mean, I've got his dad. I've got all the sugar skulls. You know, yes, yes. I don't have the little boy like front and center on the front, but he's there on the side and he's all over the bag. I mean. <sighs> This is one of those bags where for me, it's not the placement. It's just, it's a really beautiful bag. You know I mean? It's a beautiful print. Um, the colors, they pop, they really pop, especially against this, um, this brown. I mean, it just, it does. It looks phenomenal. And let's look at the, um, you know, I love the gold hardware. Cause I like for everything to match, you know? So when I've been working on my exclusives for World Online Games, I have been really thinking about you know, when they ask you, do you want to make any changes or whatever, I always check to make sure the hardware matches the bag because it matters. So here's our lining. So I do. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. So the Pixar Coco bag. Love it to death. And then I also have, this is new, this came yesterday actually. This is the Beetlejuice from fun.com. Um, and I, uh, I'm gonna add it to, what I'm gonna call it my horror collection from starting now. Um, so I liked it because of the colors and they're very fun. To me, his face is very fun. Um, I, it's not too serious and, and that's why I picked this bag versus the other um, Beetlejuice bags, uh, just you see a bag and you know that that is one that you will carry. And I know that I will carry this. I have so many things this color and I like Beetlejuice. I do. I really do. So again, um, these have real pockets. Thank you. Um, I love the purple with the slime green border and then how they reverse it on the front where there's the slime green here, but it's a purple border. And then the green is in, um, you know, where the, the zipper is, you know, they just, they tie the details together. Love it. Um, and then of course his hair is uh, stitched on. And then of course his face is printed. Um, and they, they do a really good job of just making it look fun, which is ironic because it's for fun.com. Go figure. Um, I, you won't see me have the, there's a Harry Potter one and don't get me wrong. It, it was very cute. Very cute. I just, I just don't do Harry Potter bags. 
I mean, I'll show you from the core line or if someone sends me a bag, I, of course, I will show it to you. It's just not one I will purchase for my collection. But Luna Lovegood, she is super cute. I do love her. And see, I do love the movies. I do. I do. I just think that maybe I've had so much Harry Potter merchandise thrown at me, owning a store. <laughs> I just got over it, you know? So, but here's our, um, our lining, which is really cute and it's different. You know, I thought it would be a print. It's not. Um, it's very cute. It definitely matches the back. It draws it, it draws it all together. So that's good. And I like it. So those are my two exclusives that I have for you today. And of course, I will probably, you know, show you some more. But I had so many core bags, I didn't want to clutter it up. Now to my custom ears. Um, yes, let me... Because I don't want to not give her credit. It's really important to me that um, the people get credit. Uh, Michelle Mybell. Michelle Mybell. So you can find her on Instagram. And it's Michelle Mybell. She makes these beautiful ears. So these are my um, Little Mermaid Dinglehopper ears. And I love how she makes the, the headbands or the thicker ones because I can't do the small headbands. And there's lots of the felt inside so that it doesn't hurt your head and it doesn't bother your ears. And she makes sure the sequins goes all the way to the edge and you feel how fluffy these are. I mean, they're just really beautiful. I mean, her craftsmanship is phenomenal. You, I don't see any glue. I don't see any loose stitching. I mean, she does a really beautiful job. And then, because we have Snow White, my poison apple ears. And I do, do love them. I do. Isn't it pretty? But I mean, she did. She did a really good job. They're super cute. Again, it's the thick headband, lots of felt. And the sequence is, is from head to toe. It's the flawless. They're flawless. Michelle, my bell ears. I actually bought eight pair from her. I thought I would only show you two because we did have a lot of bags to get through. So that's that. And then we have some small accessories from Loungefly for the um, February. We have the Peter Pan four-piece pin scent. It is super cute. Please don't put these on your bags unless it's a pin bag. Unless it's a pin bag. But do not poke a hole in your Peter Pan bag. Don't make me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and so this one is the Dumbo four-piece enamel pin set. Oh, now non-lounge fly stuff because I'm only going to show you a little. So I... Where did they go? Anyway, moving on. So here is the Snow White... Uh, Loungefly keyring, the Snow White Dumbo keyring, and I think I may have already shown you guys, and then, oh, the Cheshire Cat, the Cheshire Cat, <sighs> love the Cheshire Cat, so lots of really cute stuff, really, really cute stuff, um, and again, we're excited about Disneyland opening, and there's lots of exclusives coming up, um, I don't know if you guys saw 707 Street, um, they have some Star Wars bags coming out and Cordy's Corner just had the, uh, Padme, uh, bag. I'm on the wait list. On the wait list. Darn it. Um, and, oh, I know there's a lot more. Anyway, so there's a whole post on just, ex uh, exclusives coming up. So, um, I look forward to seeing you guys again. I hope you loved the bags as much as I did. Um, and again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you want to buy something, check us out at World War One Games. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, um, or our Shopify store at www.htp blah, 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 World War One Games, my Shopify.com. And, or you can just message me. You could, because I'm... As the owner, I make it my point that customer service is the most important thing. So, 
And like I said, if there's anything in the background that you see you would like to see better, like you want me to review it, just let me know. I will share with you my entire collection. I love my babies. So, like I said, like, subscribe, and come back and see me. Bye, guys.